Hi there, Mark here again. Um, welcome to the last of my uh, videos about the Tamiya Audi Quattro body set. Um, on the last video we got to the point where I showed how I'd uh, worked out how I was going to make an, uh, a DIY LED setup for it, including six LEDs here for the spotlights. And I showed that we got this test rig knocked up um, and proved that I've got the right values for the resistors and the right LEDs. So today we're going to get all this wired into the body with a bit of luck. So what we're going to need is a bunch of wire which I've got which I um, ripped out of some old uh, computer cable. I've got the LEDs and so before we start wiring it up one thing we need to know is um, which way around the LEDs go. So here's one of the LEDs. The one of the legs to the LED is um, longer than the other. Um, the longer leg is the anode, the shorter leg is the cathode. So the longer leg needs to go to the positive wire and the shorter leg to the negative wire. Now don't worry if you get them the wrong way around, if you make a mistake, I'll just prove it here. There's a little three volt um, battery we've got, we've got the LED. So we're going to put it with um, the long leg, the anode, to positive, and the short leg to negative, and there you can see it lights up. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is just turn it round so it's the wrong way round. So now I've got negative going to positive. We'll put that across exactly the same see it doesn't light up but if I turn it back round and put it the right way it lights up again so there's no damage done to the LED if you do get it the wrong way around but yeah we need the long leg to positive so I've already fitted the light buckets they just stick on with some double sided tape there in the front of the ones in the back those will take the 5mm leads 4 or 5mm leads and what I'm going to do is is my test rig is I'm going to have this flying lead that's going to plug into the actual uh, battery on the chassis I'm going to have this switch I'm going to fit it to the side of the body with some glue or double sided tape so it'll be something like that and then I'm going to run the wires all the way around to the lights and back again on the same side and the same in the rear the wires are going to come down across and back again so I've already trimmed down the first pair of wires. Um, I've, I've left it too long, always best to wear on the, on the long side. Um, and what I've done here, as you probably see, um, I've taken one of the pieces off, the whites, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna use white for positive. Uh, there's the extra piece, gonna need that. Um, this is going to wire the white wire to the LED uh, via a resistor. And then I'm gonna go across to the other LED because I'm using the two LEDs in series um, and then negative back to the battery um, with the darker wire. The first thing I need to do then is to um, connect my resistor to the positive or the anode of the LED. That hissing noise you can hear is my gas soldering iron, my portable gas soldering iron which I do like to use, it's nice and light. Um, you can see probably here that there are two resistors together um, that's because I'm going to put them in parallel um, to make the headlights just slightly brighter than the rest so that's the idea so what we're going to do tinning is just putting a little bit of solder onto the bit that we want to solder together um, before making the connection nearly forgot then what I need to do is just trim back that positive or anode to about 10 millimeter or so I don't need all that long leg so just get a bit of solder on there do the other side of the resistors you have to be careful with these uh, gas solder lines because that at the the top there you can probably see the red glow the orange glow is the exhaust um, and that can easily burn you quite uh, quickly so you need to be careful with that okay so with the resistors it doesn't matter which way round 
it is connected positive to negative um, yeah makes no difference so the little trick here you can probably see is to use some old blue tack this is from where we put the Christmas cards up with um, to hold the pieces in place while you solder them together so make sure there's a nice little flow of solder there hopefully that connection will be good so the next thing I need to do is to tin the wire that I'm going to connect to that, the resistors Trim that off a bit. And now solder this onto the resistor. Uh, but don't forget, you need some heat shrink on first to cover over all of this um, once it's all connected up. So that should be long enough. So put that over the wire first. And then we can use our blue tack again to try and get this lined up for soldering. So with the connections made, we should just be able to slide that heat shrink all the way up to the top. Like so. And then we're just gonna apply some heat to that. The beauty of these gas solder eyes, like I say, is that, that exhaust port is very, very hot. So I can use that to uh, shrink down the heat shrink. That's the first side of the first lead done. Now if you remember, I cut the, uh, the white wire shorter than the, um, the coloured wire, the green wire, which is going to be the negative. So that off cut is going to come in useful now. We just need to um, strip off some of the insulation. All I tend to do is just lightly nip into the sheathing and pull off that insulation. Um, twist the wire together. And again, we need to tin this up, trim off the cathode, with the negative leg, to about 10 mil again. Um, solder that on. Not forget, not forgetting to put on the heat shrink first. So there's the first LED done with the resistors. So the next one um, that's going to go in series with it. Um, this one doesn't need a resistor and again this is now acting as the positive lead so again we connect the positive to this end of the white wire just trim the positive down again obviously um, always do it this way because I know I'm working with the positive wire now if I cut them both off I'm in trouble I don't know which is which so yeah Again, so we're going to now just connect this wire up, tin them up again in the same way. Okay, now we can trim this one down. We know this is the negative. Okay, so just uh, Shrink that heat shrink down a bit, and that's the first lead circuit done. So before I carry on, I'm just going to give them a quick test, just wire them up to the 7.2 volt battery, and there we go, we're working fine. So, yeah, the first pair are done. I'm going to get on and do the tail lights next. So I've done the tail lights in exactly the same way as the, uh, the fronts with the uh, red LEDs this time. I've used uh, orange and white wire and I've fitted it into the light buckets so as you can see here I've got the white wire which is my positive going into the lead uh, I've got the negative coming out on the white wire again into the positive onto the second lead and then I've got the coloured orange wire coming back as the negative and if we just swing it round the front ones are installed also so again we're coming up with the white wire into the lead on the positive, out on the negative, to the positive of the second LED, and then back with the green wire. 
So that's the heads and the tails fitted. So now we need to get onto the front spotlights. Now I've just had a quick test fitting with this one. Uh, as you can see, um, there isn't much room behind this, um, much clearance between the back of the lights and the body. So I've had to bend all the connectors over, if you can show see. Show you how wide that up. I'll just uh, solder up the LEDs and show you how I've fitted it to these light buckets with the three mil holes that I've drilled through um, to give access for the lights. Okay, so I've wired up the first pair of LEDs in series. Um, so I've got my positive wire coming in on the anode. I've got the cathode going to the anode on the second LED and then the cathode or the negative going out on the negative wire. So, uh, and as I said, because it's so tight in here, there isn't any room, I'm gonna put the resistor on the positive wire inside the body. So the reason I've soldered these two legs together like that is so these LEDs could fit in like so. And that should be nice and out of the way. And then I've got the second LED sorry, the third LED, um, positive and a negative, and this is going to be wired to the first, if I can get in shot, um, the LED that's at the top in here, which is these, this LED, and this blue wire, which is a negative, will go to the positive of this one across the two spotlights. I made a hole uh, for each set of wires um, just between the two holes for the um, for mounting the spots. Um, as you can see, I've fed all the wires through, a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, and you can see there, there really isn't any clearance between the spotlights and the body. So yeah, I couldn't have fitted the resistor in there. So you have to bend those wires quite sharply as they come out of the LEDs and poke them through and now all I need to do is on the white wires I need to fit a resistor connect it to, uh, to a flying lead back to the battery uh, need to fit connect all the blue wires together as negative and there's these two in the middle which is going to be the loop in and out through to put the uh, top lights in series the top LEDs so that just needs joining together um, with a bit of heat shrink over the top. So I'll just get on with that. Here you can see the um, three resistors soldered to the one uh, power supply, um, split into the three sets of two LEDs. And there's the join between the, the two upper LEDs. Um, so now I've just got to join the negative wires to the negative supply and get it all hooked up. Okay, so this is the uh, power supply to the ESC, uh, TBLE 2 I've just stripped some of the uh, sheathing back um, with a craft knife, and I'm just gonna tin this, like so. And now I'm going to get the connector that I stole from my mechanical speed controller and I'm going to solder that onto this permanently. Okay, that looks good to go. So I just need to get some tape over those to uh, make sure it's all shielded. So that's my flying lead. I'm going to plug the battery in, into that and this will get power. So the battery lead is uh, connected, got a bit of uh, tape on there, I've got the plug, again all this stolen from uh, an old mechanical speed controller including the switch, so now that's double sided taped to the body, then I've got the pos and neg there connected to all the LED wires, all we need to do now is uh, put the shell on and try it out, let's have a go, so moment of truth, here we go. Yay! There we go. Eight white LEDs on the front. You can see I've put the uh, the lenses onto the spots there. Looks pretty cool. All I need to do now is uh, dim the lights and show you what she looks like. Here we go.
Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.